What up, boxing world? It's your boy, Boxing LJ, aka Left Hook Less. How you feeling? Listen, it is good to be back with you all. And I am here to talk about this absolutely beautiful bout that we have coming to us this weekend, the weekend of January 30th, 2021, where super middleweight champion Caleb Sweet Hands Plant will take on former champion Caleb Truax. Listen, I am absolutely ecstatic for this bout. Before we get into it, I want to just congratulate Premier Boxing Champions PBC on how they have promoted this fight. I have seen all types of advertisement for this. I'm on YouTube watching watching boxing videos and other videos that's none of your business. And I see the ad pop up all of the time. I see the commercial for it. I've seen several videos like uh, Caleb Plant's um, Mount Rushmore telling some of his story. I'm just uh, behind the scenes. I'm just, it has all built up the excitement for this fight. I was already excited, but just seeing the ads, seeing the, seeing the shows, like the behind the scenes, like it, it just has enhanced my excitement. So good job, PBC. Um, shout out to Al Heyman. Um, Y'all doing the thing. Back to the fight. I have said it before and I'll say it again. I am extremely excited. Caleb Sweet Hands Plan, I believe, has the complete package. He has fought good opponents before. However, I think this will be his toughest test to date in facing a rugged former champion in Caleb Truex. Um, I believe that Caleb Plant is going to pass this test, um, not with flying colors, um, but we're going to see how great he truly is. I've said in previous videos, the mark of a great, of an elite fighter is making other great fighters look average. So we know Caleb Truex is a former champion. We know he's tough. We know he's rugged. We know he's going to put up a good fight. However... How will the favorite, how will the champion, how will the super middleweight champion of the world make Caleb Truex look? Will it be a tough bout and he pulls through? Or will he make Caleb Truex look average like he's made previous opponents look average? Based on his story, and if you don't know his story, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it here. It's more than anybody else that you've seen step in this room. I've taken more L's and more losses than anybody that is gonna step in this room. Just sit off uh, to the side and, and know that there's really nothing you can do to help your little girl. It's not a good feeling. I know I didn't have the, uh, the short end of the stick, but at that time, it felt like prison because you can't escape it, you can't get away from it, and it's every day, all day long. Boxing has been my sanctuary where I can escape from the world and uh, be somebody else. Um, but a few years ago, he lost his daughter. Kayla Plant, that is. He lost his daughter. Um, he His daughter had um, a battle with some health issues, and it was an elongated battle. And um, a few years ago, unfortunately, the health, the health issues won. And um, he's a man of faith, as am I. So we believe that her spirit is in a better place right now. Um, but the fact that he was able to overcome that adversity and still obtain his goal of becoming world champion, I think is just a, a testament to his perseverance, to his intestinal fortitude. Um, and also, Something else that I learned, he told his coach, if I ever found out that you took it easy on me, I'm going to fire you. That fire is reminiscent of the late, great Kobe Bryant, that Mamba mentality. He's going hard all the time. I think it is that mentality, the perseverance of being able to overcome a loss that great in his daughter. 
I believe it is that, that perseverance that is going to carry Kayla Plant through this fight. I believe that, um, I believe in his moniker, Sweet Hands, like that, that boy is special. Now, normally, now normally, uh, white fighters, I don't believe, uh, I don't believe the hype until I see them with an opponent, um, that is worthy, um, and, and they actually passed that test with fine colors. And he's had he's had some good opponents in the past. Caleb Plant, that is. Um, however, I do believe Caleb Truix will be his toughest to date just because of his ruggedness. Um, and if you watch uh, PBC's um, Behind the Fight uh, story where they showed how both Caleb Plant and Caleb Truex have been training, you see Caleb Truex, like he... It's, he's legit training like Rocky did when he fought Ivan Drago. Like, he, Caleb Truex is legit in the snow, cutting wood, like, pushing sleds, all this type of stuff. And I believe, I believe it takes a different type of person to train in that type of environment. You know, most people, they'll, they'll run in the gym, but Caleb Truex was out running in the cold. You could see, you could see the snow on the side of the road. Like, like I said, he was out there cutting wood like Rocky was. I believe it takes, it takes a special kind of fighter to get up out of the bed because he's he's done well for himself. He was a former champion. I believe it takes a special type of fighter to train in those type of conditions. Um, and the fact that, you know, even though he's a former champion, he doesn't have that notoriety like that. Um, he didn't come from the Mayweather gym like Kayla Plant did. He didn't, um, he hasn't been heavily promoted like that because of the ups and downs in his careers. But the fact that he's still training hard like that, I believe he's going to bring the fight. So enough with my beliefs. Here is my prediction. I believe Caleb Plant is going to win by a unanimous decision. I believe it's going to be a rough and rugged fight. I believe some blood is going to be drawn. Um, but ultimately, uh, Sweet Hands is going to land some is going to land the more effective punches is going to land the pow the more powerful punches i believe he's going to land the punches that um if a crowd is present they're going to say oh i believe he's going to land those type of punches but caleb truex is going to come to fight like i i don't know about anybody else but i'm not going to run in the cold and just go in the ring and collect the paycheck if i'm going to be running out in the cold if i'm going to be training chopping wood if I'm going to be doing all of that, best believe all of that frustration that I, I built up in camp, oh, you're going to feel some of this pressure. So I believe that Caleb Truex is going to pre is going to try to pressure Caleb Plant, um, and I just believe it is going to be a tremendous, tremendous fight. But ultimately, Caleb Plant will pull it off. Now, I may be wrong. I'm I'm often not wrong in my decision. Maybe in the way I make the decision, like um, for example, um, I believe that Errol Spence was gonna knock, was going to knock Danny Garcia out, but he didn't. And I'm often right like that. Like everybody believed that uh, Manny Pacquiao was gonna knock out Mayweather, or Mayweather was gonna knock out Manny Pacquiao. Meanwhile, I predicted that May, uh, that Mayweather was going to win by decision. And what happened? He was going to win by decision. So I'm rarely wrong. I'm rarely wrong in my pick. But sometimes I'm wrong in um, the means to the end. Um, so if I'm wrong, yo, you guys can come back to this video, comment, and let me know. However, I stand strong and I stand firm in my belief that Caleb Sweet Hands Plant is going to retain his super middleweight title. And I believe this will catapult him to bigger and better fights 
in the soon coming future. I want to see him fight the likes of Canelo um, and David Benavidez. I want to see those fights. And I believe this is just the stepping stone. He's been calling out Canelo. And I, and I believe just how he's built, um, how he's portrayed himself. I don't believe he's scared to fight David Benavidez either. Um, so I believe this is a big stepping stone. Caleb Plant will come out on top. Um, I believe it'll be a decision. Um, you let me know your predictions down in the comment section. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you agree with something I said, let me know in the comment section. If you disagree, let me know in the comment section. And in order for this to grow, I need you all to subscribe and share this video. Trust me, I got some big things on the way. I just need a little bit of your support. So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and share. It's your boy, Boxing LJ, aka Left Hook Less. And I'm out.